Hello guys, what's up? This is Sharks Falk and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about War of Divisions and this new update that just hit this on 8th of April. We are celebrating 2 million downloads now and we had an uh, update to the game. There's new characters, new experts, we have a new event, we have new shops and uh, let's just start with the new sumo. There's a new character on the stage here. And uh, just after Federica, uh, we are getting another character. One week after her release, we already have a new unit. But Federica is still here for uh, 14 hours. I can see that we have, at least for the recording of this video. So we see this new character here. Um, it's a Viking. She's a Viking. It's Irma. And very interesting. She's very offensive. But at the same time, she seems to be... She has a knight as a super. Class, and then she has a um, thief as a subclass. It's interesting because having thief will probably have uh, a steel heart, steel time, very interesting things to have on a character. But then we also have another character called Natcha, and she is a mega hard unit and very easier to get when compared to her. And I don't have many information about these characters for up to this point, but I'm still not summoning for any one of these characters because we still don't have many released characters. We will be getting most of the same and the same and the same. And I know the game wants us to have multiple copies of the same characters, but I still don't think we have, uh, we need to get more characters right now. I already have my five character team and I will just keep upgrading them before I get another one. So, but at least we can see that this character is a damage dealer. We already have some, we have third. We, the other ones are damage dealer, but uh, they are not so strong. Uh, uh, Robin Weldon. And well, let's just get to the shop. We have a lot of shops now. And this 2 million downloads one introduces some good things. And you can see, uh, well, uh, the normal shop here has Mount Leonis. Very interesting. I need more shards of him. And I want to, to just show you guys what happens when you try to get more shards for Aishtola. And it's just converted to normal. Uh, you can see here. Uh, this vision orbs is normal vision orbs that it's not mega hard you can get some good things from exchange but mostly then are for low heresy I was thinking that I would be getting more of this sh vision shards by getting a mega hard character but she is a collaboration character so they don't give the same thing uh, what I'm saying is just here on mock shop when you go to the exchange things and you get this option to exchange uh, let me search like here vision medals and soul medals it's soul medals and, and Aishtola is giving only the normal rarity ones see here and purchase many, but many things here so if you're getting your Aishtola oh, to max level stop purchasing her shards because it will give you just this and doesn't have many good things on the shop so now let's just check the 2 million download shop we have a lot of good things uh, this one is free you have some energy restore but it's the small one only recovers 30 and then we have the page chests well the page chests uh is this one here that you get energy restore in five story ticket this one you can actually purchase with uh, normal gems but i don't know if it's all that uh, works because um 60 is your it doesn't i still want to save them and the second one is way better. We have 20 skip tickets, and uh, instead of a uh, small, you have a large energy restore, but you have to use the date. Already. I won't be using this right now. And then we have the faint memory boot that you always have to purchase because this thing is just uh, very needed in the future. We have faint and memory green. We also, you, you still have to purchase some of them because when you unlock more jobs, they will start using the green ones. The Halo Fragment of Thought is simply the most the Sire Island in the game because of its uses for uh, awakening more characters. Well, you can purchase this 1 million. The Rainbow Vision Sphere is also very important, but it's not so uh, hair as the Rainbow Fragment of Thought. And then we have more uh, packs, but the, uh, this one is only for paid customers. And it's very interesting because it has uh, one Rainbow Fragment of Thought as well, and one Rainbow Vision Sphere. You can purchase it three times. Meaning that you, if you're a paying customer and you have enough, it will give you some more uh, chances to get you more characters awakening. And then we have some more with the Coast Viziori. I don't think this is good enough. You can see that you're just getting some very uh, small quantities of 
uh, materials, you need a lot of this, you, you even need 100 of this first one and 50 of the other one to get a character awakened on the lowest, on the highest uh, heritage, and then it uh, doesn't make sense to spend so much for this thing. And then when you start coasting, uh, you can see here, Jill instead of Vizior, I think it's worth, I will be purchasing every one of them. Just as in recording this video, you can see water, doesn't matter the element, I'll be purchasing them because it can take quite a lot of time to farm. We will also be talking about the, the giveaway, they gave us 10 million gil, so you'll be probably swimming on a lot of gills and making these purchases won't hurt you at all. Okay, I'm getting everything here. Everything that doesn't cost visibility is usually very well. Gills are farmable, visibility are not. Okay, we are getting everything here. Nice. I suggest you everyone getting this because they take much time to farm. And then we, I still have some things from the first million downloads. If you didn't get all the other things like the Rainbow Fragment of Fog, the Rainbow Vision Sphere, get them because they are important. All the other ones that close these yours can be skipped easily. And the Experience Cube as well. Uh, it still have this shop for um, new units. I also got everything that is only Q costed. And it's another shop for the new characters. Well, I have to purchase everything that also costs gills because these items are using to promote the new characters. You also get some of these materials by running the new event. So get everything here. It's important to have because it makes your upgrading character easier. Even in the future you may get this character and saving you time to farm it. Okay, purchase everything, it's the only Q. And we still have the collaborative shop from Final Fantasy XIV. And same thing here, only purchase the things that cost cubes. Okay, uh, after this we already talked about the shop. Now we have some more things, just the giveaways. They give us, uh, you can see here, 10 million gills, it's very nice. And also 10 of the energy restore. Very nice because it's 120 energy for every one of them. I will be claiming this. Very nice indeed. And then uh, after that we have some more events on the far plane. I will just go here, and we have on the events bar new things. The first of them is this. Um, let me search here. We have admirable prince. The first quests are very easy to clear. You only reach up to recommend unit level 40, and it will give you a lot of farming stuff. You can see uh, all of the materials that drops from each one of them. It's just uh, focusing on getting you uh, the materials to increase these characters to max level. But not like, like that will happen <laughs> anytime uh, easily as you think. So after you clear all of these ones, you unlock some more. You unlock the EX quest that has a higher uh, difficulty. You see that it starts with uh, level 50. We can click on the tails to see more stuff. You can also get Rainbow Fragment of Fog, as it says here. You see there's two missions. And then there's the EX missions. And very nice things to get. After that, you can see how we'll be closing here. Let me uh, return. You also have a lot of missions to clear from the first set of stages of this event. I'll be going there. Uh, when you click on missions, you'll be able to see it. Here, on Milestone, you go on Events, and then there's a Numerable Prince, and you can see this is everything I already claimed. There is four of the Mega Heart Rainbow Sphere, very nice. All of these things are used to uh, awaken characters. This can be used to awaken the two new characters, but also older characters like... You see, there's Ice Awakening Prism here. Very interesting for people that have Mediana, making it easier to awaken her. Okay, I claim everything, and then we have more for a Rainbow Prince EX. And you can see here the Rainbow Fragment of Thought, very nice, the most important thing on the game. You have to clear only once EX1 or EX2. And then you can get some more good stuff from clearing the other stages. Even some um, Golden Blade Crafting Sphere. This one is interesting, I never saw this before. Probably you'll introduce it with this event itself. Another thing that we have to mention is this once in a day JP reward quest that gives you like 500 job points to every character that participates in this quest. So it doesn't help that much but 500 is cool for people starting out 
And lastly, in the most important one is that we now have a double drop for story mode. You can see here, both Unity job points and drops will get double. And it means that it's the perfect time for you to just get all of your uh, materials for Awakening. And it's very important for you to just do story mode. Even through the event that just got released, it also needs um, some farming. You can only do that on Muchi. You can just uh, go here on... Let me just go to far plane. This new event has a multi, so you don't need to spend your, your stamina here. Use it only on the story mode so you can get all the remaining materials for yourself. You can see here the Admiral Prince EX quest. Just farm here. And then just try to keep uh, doing story quests for the remaining of the week. And try to get all of your characters at least to job level 9 because it will really improve your characters. You also got a, a free summon. You can go on the summon screen. Everyone got this. It's a new banner that even has the new characters. You can summon for them uh, for free at least once. It's a very good thing. Um, I'm saving my visiority, so this is very interesting to have. Here you just have to search for two million downloads. The first million downloads was already very nice to have. Um, let me just search here. Two million downloads. It's not that one. Let me just search for it. There's a lot of banners, actually. This one here. This one is a free banner, and everyone will be able to summon for it. But well, I'll be ending this video here with um, information about the event. We are kind of progressing very fast. I think they want to reduce the distance between the Japanese version and the global version so people can uh, have a better chances of getting new characters different from Japan. We will probably have global exclusive characters at the same time. But also, don't having too much information on the Japanese version characters means that they will probably be able to sell more characters to us. This is like um, Gumi already does, did in the past with Final Fantasy Brave Axios and also with Brave Frontier. So they will probably do this again. I'm pretty sure of this. But this is it guys. Thank you for watching this video. We see each other on the next video. Bye.